The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Leaving the synagogue, Jesus went to Simon's house. Now Simon's mother-in-law was suffering from a high fever, and they asked him to do something for her. Leaning over her, he rebuked the fever, and it left her. And she immediately got up and began to wait on them. At sunset, all those who had friends suffering from diseases of one kind or another brought them to him, and laying his hands on each, he cured them. Devils too came out of many people, howling, You are the Son of God. But he rebuked them, and would not allow them to speak, because they knew that he was the Christ. When daylight came, he left the house, and made his way to a lonely place, the crowds went to look for him, and when they had caught up with him, they wanted to prevent him leaving them. But he answered, I must proclaim the good news of the kingdom of God to other towns too, because that is what I was sent to do. And he continued his preaching in the synagogues of Judea. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, as we heard today in the Gospel, people were looking for Jesus because Jesus was high in demand. He was popular. He was needed. But Jesus did not lose his focus. Jesus only had one mind and he was not distract, distracted. That was why he was able to say, I must proclaim the good news to the other towns too, because that is what I am sent to do. My dear brothers and sisters, the love Jesus had for God his Father, kept him focused with one mind and kept him from being distracted. In the first reading we heard St. Paul also affirmed the Colossians for being focused in their faith which they expressed in their love for each other. So whether it is about our secular life or about our spiritual life, if we need to make any progress or certain achievement, the simple lessons of being focused, having only one mind and not being distracted have to be strictly adhered to. So my dear brothers and sisters, fundamentally, let us keep our eyes on Jesus alone because he will show us what we are sent to do. For this grace, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.